we're playing more Mario Kart CTGB today because, well, there's a whole lot more circuits to explore and I want to play more. We've already played as the two most important characters in Mario Kart Wii, specifically Funky Kong and Bully Maguire. At this point, I think we want to switch over to a little guy. Let's play as Dry Bones. And it's definitely not just because I like riding in the black bullet bike. Definitely not. Bullet bike is great. <laughs> it's fast, good excel, and good inside drift. We want manual because we want mini turbos. So we finished the first two new cups, the blooper cup and the mega mushroom cup. Let's go over to the thundercloud cup where we got GBA broken piers, SNES chuckle island 2, rush city run, and twin peaks. Very fun. I am excited. I've actually already played a few of these tracks, namely uh, Broken Pier from the Game Boy Advance. Um, Broken Pier was always one of my favorite courses from Super Circuit, and it looks so good here. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I've already raced on this one before, but I'm happy to play it again because, oh my gosh. Broken Pier was one of the last and toughest courses in the GBA version. Here it's a lot easier, just because the controls are a lot better, but... Oh my gosh, it looks so good. I only wish it had the actual Broken Pier music. Maybe I can edit it in later. Maybe not, though. Oh yeah. Got that acceleration. Those red pathways, you'll need a mushroom in order to go over properly. Or some kind of boost. But there are blue pathways that you can take normally. Oh, and now we're really exploring the broken part of Broken Pier. When they say Broken Pier, they aren't kidding. Yeah, look, okay, like, this is, I can already confidently say this is one of my favorite courses in CTGP. They took an already pretty great course and just made it so much better. Look at how amazing this is. Ooh, there's a blue path over there as well. I'll try to take some of the blue paths on the final lap. So much of this course is, like, you need mushrooms in order to do anything. So if you've got, like, a gold mushroom, oh, oh the places you'll go. Man overboard! Okay, I think there's a blue pathway around here somewhere. Maybe not. This is one of the courses that I actually saw footage of that made me want to get CTGP. I saw they had remade uh, Broken Pier and I was like, yes, this looks so good. And indeed it does. And indeed it is so good. Blue path up here. The atmosphere is just unparalleled on this level. It's so good. Whoa, 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 whoa! Oh my gosh, yes. I love everything about this course. <laughs> it's so good. Yike, okay. I had to jump over that. Dude, this course is so sick. You know what? I'm gonna say it. Best adaptation of an old Mario Kart course into a new one. Or one of the best. Right up there with the Calamari Desert from Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Absolutely phenomenal. Love me some Broken Pier. And we were even a spooky character to play on it. It's perfect. All right, next one was actually a old course that did get brought back in the very first uh, game that had old courses, SNES Chuckle Island 2. So this was in Mario Kart DS. And I remember it being very meh. Again, a lot of the times the SNES courses and even sometimes the GBA courses are just very flat and not amazing.
What music is this? This is not any music from Mario Kart Wii. Were people able to just add new tracks? Or is this for like a battle course that I never played? Because I never played battle mode really for Mario Kart Wii. The only two games I like playing battle mode in for Mario Kart are Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, which has by far the best battle mode, and then Mario Kart 64 Balloon Battle on Skyscraper. Both of those are actually pretty good. In pretty much every other game, not so much. Oh yeah, this is a very, very basic boy course. Why was Broken Pier as listed as the first course? Broken Pier was many magnitudes more difficult than this. I know it doesn't have to be in ascending difficulty order, but generally the first course is supposed to be one of the easier ones. Easy peasy. Good job, Dry Bones. <laughs> it still says I'm Bully McGuire. No matter who I play as, the spirit of Bully Maguire will live on through me. Is that how that works? Rush City Town, or Rush City Run. Okay. This looks interesting. We're like driving through an actual town. Blood Red Sky. Checkpoint. Fuel. That's my favorite place to get gas. Fuel. I can see a lot of 90 degree turns in here. Oh my, what the heck? I'm in the bike with a- I'm in the vehicle with pretty much the best turn. Not quite, that's the quacker, but still. Oh my gosh, these turns are not fair! You can't trick off of these. Otherwise you will, like, hit the end. I don't like that. I don't like that. I don't like how you can't trick off of them all, any of these. Ooh. Sharp shot. Oh, I see a ramp back there. Ooh, ugh. Okay, um... I cannot say I'm a huge fan of how this is playing out. I feel like there are too many 90 degree turns in rapid succession. Really cool theming. I do love the theming. My mushroom, how could you? Oh shoot, I thought that was an alternate way. It wasn't. Okay, we're not tricking off of any of these. Imagine if you were not in an, a really crazy good inside drift bike like this one. Like, you wouldn't be able to take these turns in an outside drift vehicle. You just wouldn't. Let's see what this is. Wee okay, I'm curious about this. Oh, interesting. Okay, well that's not a shortcut. That was... I went into the out part of the shortcut. I'm still in second place. How? Oh, everyone got bloopered, but I because I went backwards, I didn't. Interesting. Ooh. Yikes, okay. Um I like parts of this course, but on the whole I think it's uh it needs some tweaking. This is why I'm only playing- Oh, no! I wanna go that way! No! Well, at least the CPUs seem to be struggling on this map as well. No! Please, no!
All right, we still won first. Interesting. That's a really well-hidden shortcut. Even after I knew where it was, I couldn't find it. I probably need a mushroom to go through it anyways, but still. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna say decent course overall, but um, some of those turns are really unfair. Like, maybe, maybe lengthen it a little bit. Then finally, Twin Peaks. Ooh, this is a beautiful- What the heck?! Toad is tied up on the railroad tracks? Oh my gosh, there's a train running through this. What the heck?! There's just a train running through the level! It's the Calamari Desert on steroids. Okay, stay off the train. Yoshi, you're going down. Oh my gosh, everyone took every power. So rude. And everyone got run over by the train. Okay, I don't trust this. So the train's going crazy fast. This is what an idea for a co Okay, you can't see in this tunnel. I'm calling foul on that. You have no way of knowing that, that turn is coming up. What the- Ah! What is going on? This is like I'm playing a Leg uh, Star Wars Episode One racer course. This is feeling like Grab Vine Gateway from Star Wars Episode One racer. Oh my god, what the heck is this? This course is insane! This course is actually insane. I mean, it's crazy awesome. Ooh, are there shortcuts going through the houses? Like, can you boost through some of the, these doors and, like, cut through the house? Judging from the minimap, I'm gonna say probably not. And if not, wasted opportunity. Can't wheelie up here. I don't trust this. I didn't trust it and I still got hit. Great. Alright, Wally Ouija. No, that's bad. I was stuck in a wheelie and couldn't escape. I feel like this tunnel maybe needs to be made a bit brighter. Can we cut through the toad? No, we cannot. At least the water seems to kind of correct you, but now... Wow, that was close. Okay, once again, you can absolutely tell that these custom maps were specifically designed for inside drift vehicles and only inside drift vehicles, and I'm calling foul on that. Just because most people use inside drift vehicles doesn't mean you should be designing courses that, like, other vehicles just flat out can't do. I wonder if there's another train shortcut. If there's an intersection of the train tracks there, like, could we take a shortcut for that? Who is that? Who's that in front of me? Oh, that's a green shell. Oh. I thought that was a racer. It looked like Koopa Troopa or something. Alright, well this course is completely insane. I kind of love it. This is this is kind of what I'm like, all these courses I'm like, this is a really cool course, but it's got some problems. Which I mean, hey, I'm not here to I'm not here to like rip on all the courses. Be like, oh, you're doing this so wrong. Again, visually, this course is absolutely impressive. So many cool parts to it, and it does work together pretty well on the whole. Most of the takeaways are just make the make the turns not as uh, punishing. Wait, what hit? Before the lightning, I got hit by something. I don't know what it was. Oh, that's an oil slick? That's weird. Baby Daisy is just off the map completely. I might... I might... I'm tempted to just go to a time trial and explore the town part, because I feel like there should be some shortcuts in town. In the town. 
That was weird. I literally couldn't turn. Like, I'm almost tempted to go into time trials and just explore parts of that course. Wow. Alright. Yeah. Visually, that course was, like, S-tier. Gameplay-wise, that course was, like, an A-tier. So, I'd say very good on the whole. And Broken Pier is still my favorite, but... Yeah. Very good job on the whole. Yeah, I decided I want to at least explore the end part of this course. I feel like the end part here has a lot to offer. So I guess going backwards might be the best way of determining what stuff might be a shortcut and what might not be. Look man, I'm if there's one thing I love in racing games, it is shortcuts. I love them. Oh my gosh, that... So there's a shortcut through this barn, but it's all off-road. Alright, that's pretty cool. So there is a cool shortcut through there. Now I want to see if you can actually go on the railroad tracks. Okay, you can't go on the railroad tracks that way. Can we go on the railroad tracks this way? Not for them all, okay. One of my favorite parts about playing a new Mario Kart course is trying to hunt for shortcuts. Can you go up here? You can go up here! So you can actually cut through the station, which... Is that even a shortcut? Ouch. Alright, back to a Grand Prix, and it is Mario Kart, so... Mario on the Dolphin Dasher. I love me some Dolphin Dasher. Alright, next we got the Pal Block Cup, where we've got DS Figure 8 Circuit, very boring course, Spectral Station, Waluigi Pinball, and Daisy Cruiser. Okay, a lot of repeat courses, but a lot of these I'm, I'm happy to see. Figure 8 Circuit is like, whatever. Waluigi Pinball is pretty good, and then I've, I've, I got a soft spot for Daisy Cruiser, man. I really do. I mean, figure eight race circuit, it's fine. But. It's never gonna be what I'm gonna like go out of my way to pick. It's just so simple. There's not a whole lot to it. It's, it's the generic racing track of Mario Kart DS. Every Mario Kart needs one. But it's never gonna go beyond being mediocre. Oh, mushrooms in third place? Doesn't seem right. I'll take it though. Wee hoo! I don't think there are a whole lot of like shortcuts you can take here, but it looks like there's a pit stop of some kind. Yep, this is a very generic, boring course. There's you. Okay, there's no way to enter the pit stop. Dunk on it, that's why I wanted my mushrooms. to dodge the blue shell with my mushrooms. Alright, yeah. Just a very, very average course. Nothing bad about it, just nothing good about it. It's just one of the courses of all time. Serious. Curse you, Mario Kart Wii. In Mario Kart Wii, you're not going to get, like, invincibilities in third place. 
But, man, they really love to go crazy with the blue shells at times. Alright, that was figure eight race. Probably will be the most boring course of the video. Let's see what's up next. Spectral Station. Oh, that's right, yeah! I played this one, too. I played this one as well. This is a, like this is basically a haunted calamari desert in a way. There's like a ghost train going through the town. Man, they Mario, the CTGP courses really like their trains. And hey, the train is a pretty cool game. I really gotta find a way to replace this generic annoying SNES ghost music with a good song. Maybe Pac-Man World 2 Haunted Boardwalk. Or basically any song that's not this. Okay. I thought we were turning there, but that I don't want to turn on the train tracks particularly. Ooh, code. You want to be in the way of my laser. If we happen to cross the trail, the train tracks at the same time the ghost train's going through, that's gonna be rough. good the AI is. I mean, like, they're right on my tail. And I'm racing pretty well. Getting the power slide boost, trying to get the wheelie boost. Oh! I got a hit. Wasn't even looking. Alright, yeah. I remember this course. I like I like the, the night sky, for sure, and I like the idea of, like, the ghost train going around trying to kill you. It's definitely fun. I think the track design itself is a bit basic, but I'm okay with basic. Again, we did, not every course needs to be crazy like Twin Peaks. We can have just the standard courses. It's kind of a good midway. Like, it's not as boring as Figure Eight Race. It's got better atmosphere. But it's not so crazy that it's just like, I don't know where I'm going. I also wonder, if, just looking at the minimap, it seems like going on the train tracks would be a long cut in every situation. Unless... This is risky to do later on, but if I turn left here... Nope, you can't do that. Rats. Look at the mini-map. Okay, that was extremely rude. Do not take my power up. Okay, well that cost me the race, but I wanted to see what it was. Like. Maybe it didn't cost me the race. Nope! Move out of the way! Mega Mario's coming to fool! <laughs> oh, yeah! <laughs> Mario's the winner! Okay, so I've actually played all of the races in this circuit before. So next we've got Waluigi Pinball. Gotta say, I remember this course being better. I hate the ending part. I can't get through the ending without getting hit by one of those pinballs. I wonder how this will differ from the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe version and the DS version. Hopefully with Inside Drift, some of the windy parts of the pinball launcher will be easier to navigate. Also, I wonder how e how easy or difficult it is to actually make a stage and make a race course in this, because there are several races I would like to make from racing games that nobody would bother making game ones from. First one I would make, Desert Adventure Dragway from Let's Lego Racers. That is... I don't want to say that's just the best racing course ever, but it's, it's up there. So good. So good. I also wonder how I- well, rude! I wonder how well I can translate it into Mario Kart. Because LEGO Racers is a very different kind of game to Mario Kart. Also, I don't even mind that we don't have Waluigi pinball music. I like Waluigi Stadium song better. Move out of the way, Mario's coming through. Who's 
that in first place. Oh, it's a me, a Mario. It's a me, a Chris Pratt. Oh, I think it was Dry Bones who I passed. Okay, I like this version of the level better than the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe version. The Mario Kart 8 Deluxe version is too chaos at the end. Like, I always get hit by a pinball at the end here. Always on the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe version. Oh, look, I got hit by it here, too. There just doesn't seem to be a single safe place to drive through. Like, no matter where you are, a pinball could just careen at you and just be like, yep, yep, you got hit on the last lap, so you lose. It feels luck-based, and you know how much I despise that. At least if you've been on my channel for any length of time, you know how much I despise luck. Specifically losing because of luck. I also don't like winning because of luck either. Because that doesn't feel like an earned victory. It feels like the game is taking pity on me. Here, I'll give you a participation trophy. No. I want to earn that victory. Like, even winning on the Spectral Station level because of the Mega Mushroom, that didn't feel that good. I mean, I still felt good because the reason I lost is because I tried to see if a shortcut was a shortcut. If I hadn't done that, I would have handily won anyways. Easy win! Yeah, I like that version of the track more than the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe version. And that was a very fun! Alright, here we go, ladies and germs. Daisy Cruiser! Now, will this be the Double Dash version of the level or the Mario Kart 7 version? Um... The real question is, can we drive through the pool or can't we? Because in, in Double Dash, if you drive in the pool, you fall off and Blackito has to pick you up. But in Mario Kart 7, you can just drive right through the pool. Okay, this looks like the Mario Kart 7 version, because you can go both directions here. At the beginning, you can only go on the right to Double Dash. Let's see. Yep, okay, yep, it's definitely the Mario Kart 7 version. Rats! I liked it when the pool made you fall off. Made it a bit more dangerous. Ooh, did they make this the Oh, they just removed that entirely. They just removed the doors entirely. In Double Dash, when you uh, went to that part, there was like a set of doors on the wall, and it looked like you would, should be able to like open the doors, cut through, and skip that turn. But I haven't found a way to open the doors yet. Maybe it was one of those like shortcuts that they're like, we wanted to put it in, but we scrapped it. Wow, somebody, somebody really doesn't want you to go alone the right path of the pool. In the heat of the day, in the cool. Yeah, right at that wall. It's normally so. Oh my god, wait, what the heck? Why is this part underwater? Daisy's cruiser is capsizing right now, and nobody's doing anything about it. What the heck? I don't... Was that part in Mario Kart 7? I can't remember. I only played a little bit of Mario Kart 7. Just because I prefer console Mario Karts to the handheld Mario Karts. Mario Kart DS was really good, don't get me wrong. But I definitely... Like, I preferred Mario Kart Wii to Mario Kart DS, and I preferred Mario Kart 8 to Mario Kart 7. And I definitely prefer Double Dash and 64 to Super Mario. Again, I think Super Circuit is very overlooked. It's still fun, but... It is, like, one of the weaker ones. Wow! We dominated that level. Um, Baby Daisy was more than five seconds behind me, I, I just want to say. She absolutely was. Alright! First place! Two stars! Even though I intentionally drove on off the train tracks. Cool, I'll take it. That works for me. All right, well that's another two circuits down. We have, I can't, I don't even know how many left to go, but we're gonna keep up with the two circuits per video style. 
I'm not saying I'm necessarily going to go through all of the circuits, at least not right now. But hey, let's... Maybe this will just become a reoccurring series of mine. And if I, if I can get some of my buddies to play online, there could be some pretty awesome videos that can come from that. So thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you have a fantastic rest of your day, and God bless.